Hello my lovelies, welcome back to Art Alec Heart and another episode of our 100 character draw challenge where I found this really cool sketchbook and I am filling every single page which will probably be more than 100 sketches of different character designs. We do about three each episode and then I let you guys vote on which character you like the best for the winner of that challenge. For this last week or the last episode we had this pirate, this sea monster, and the pirate's daughter. Not the same pirate. Anyway, of those three characters, the sea monster actually won, which was really cool. Now normally with the first uh, 100 character draw challenge that I did. When we did a voting and then that vote won, then that character would get a special drawing, um, kind of fleshing out the design. I love that idea. It's a fun idea, but I don't have time to do that idea. I had to make the decision whether I wanted to abandon the challenge or change things and move really slowly. And I decided the later was the better to keep pushing forward. I'm not trying to upload a new episode each week like I had in the past because obviously we saw that's not working and all it is is causing me um, some major stress trying and I feel like a failure because I haven't been uploading as much as I normally want to but life is different right now. I have a lot of other things that I'm working on and so things have to kind of adapt and I want to make them work. So if you have been struggling with challenges or uh, goals that you've set in your life, perhaps consider instead of abandoning them altogether to modify that. Um, slow and small progress is still progress when compared to giving up and having no progress. So that's what we're gonna work with. I still want you guys to vote and tell me which character you, you think uh, you like the best, but we're going to do it in the comment section below and that way there's not a set time limit for voting. So viewers in the future, your vote counts just as much as everyone else's vote. Now something fun that I decided to do with this round was to theme all three of my characters based on a word and that word is weather. So the first character I just designed, I wanted to be a super cute kind of chibi-like character. I was really feeling the 1980s cartoon Rainbow Bright. I don't know if there's anybody out there who remembers Rainbow Bright, but man, she was like my childhood. So I wanted to include as much weather on her as possible. So she has like a little rainbow shirt. Her hair is like clouds. And then she has rain and snowflakes on her dress. Um, I was originally going to put lightning in her skirt on the dark panel, but I actually forgot, which is okay because the lightning thing comes to play later on in this challenge. So this is the first one little weather. Moving on, I decided to do more of my traditional style, which is kind of, I don't know, Disney princess-esque themed. I wanted to create a kind of a fairy queen looking uh, character who who is themed after a crisp morning. <laughs> when I wake up, I, I love my backyard because when the sun comes up, it just turns everything to this bright golden hue. It can be super cold out, it can be warm, but it's just golden-y. And I wanted to create a character like that. I don't know if that's really weathery, but we're calling her weather um, because I like how she turned out. So sometimes, sometimes when you have a theme, something else pops up and uh, maybe, she, maybe she's my clouds. Maybe she's like sunlight playing on clouds like that morning sun and you can kind of see the rich deep hues still hidden in there, the shadows of evening or, or I guess early, early morning. Um, but then the light of dawn is like cresting and just turning everything magical. And that's that was my, my goal for that. I don't know if that really consists under the topic of weather, but uh, that's what we went with. So for this, um, as you can see with these characters, I'm using a lot of acrylic paint to lay down the base colors because while tone paper is amazing, because generally it really makes your lighter colors pop. And I love this sketchbook because it looks cool. It does not take light colors well. So I can get a little bit of lighter colors with my color pencils, but they're kind of muddy. The paper itself is a little bit fuzzy, I guess, and it just doesn't allow me to have that crisp color. So if you're looking for a sketchbook for drawing, if you're just doing ink drawings, this is a great one for it. But if you're wanting to add a lot of color, I'm starting to decide maybe this sketchbook isn't the best for adding color, unless you do like what I'm doing with acrylic paint. 
Okay, so the, the name of this character was Phos. It's the Greek word for light, so phosphorence. Uh, yeah. The last character I wanted to create was kind of a villain character. I wanted to have her be a night storm. A couple weeks ago, we had one of the biggest storms that I have experienced in a long time. Our neighbors lost trees on their houses. Our house was luckily no damage, but we have quite a few limbs in our yard, but it was really scary. The wind was really strong and uh, I didn't sleep much that night because I was a little on the concerned side. So I wanted to create a character that was kind of like a, a nighttime storm with the element of lightning. And uh, again, graphite does not lay down well on this. So it's really hard to do an initial sketch up. So I decided to be brave and go into the sketch with just pure ink and nothing else, which you can't hide your mistakes. If you <laughs> mess up on a sketch with ink, you're doomed. But I, I did anyway. And as I was working, I did make a little goof up and I thought, let's go ahead and make her like a silhouette instead of uh, giving her like a skin tone of some sort, let's just make her a black silhouette. So I used some Indian ink that I had and painted that in and it turned out really cool. So for her dress, I used really dark navies and then the inside panels of her dress, I used kind of this whitish yellow for her hair. And I used that for her hair as well to kind of give it this really cool uh, electricity looking hairstyle. Now there are a lot of things about this drawing I do not like. It's probably one of my least favorites for the overall look. But the the idea, nah, the the technique I find fascinating. It, it reminds me a lot of like Grecian pottery. Like when you watch the old Hercules movie from Disney and they have, you know, the muses come out and they talk about the pottery. Uh, this reminds me of it. And I would love to uh, play with this, this, this silhouette kind of idea a little bit more. I don't think her pose worked well for a silhouette because she's, she's not in a, a very readable pose uh, with her hands. Uh, if I look at the end product with her, not a huge fan when I look at the other two, but of the three drawings, this technique gives me the most inspiration to take this idea of a character and to flesh it out more. So for this one, I named her Electra. I went back in with some white acrylic paint to add some dotting and started going crazy with the dotting again. I think it looks really cool with the dark silhouette tones. I want to play with this more, but the the whole uh, the whole thing is up to you guys to now vote on which character you think you like the best. I told you which one I like the best. Comment below which one's your favorite one, two, or three. Uh, and if you're doing a hundred character draw challenge, uh, tag me in your social media posts. I want to see what you are creating. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me in this video. And as always, God bless you guys. Keep being creative, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye bye.